Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're gonna be showing you guys how you figure out your elevation from your deck to the point where your stairs are gonna be landing and then how you build stringers. Here's an example of a stringer right here. So this is a stringer. It's made out of a two by 12. So first step, we measure right here. So you see we're at 24 inches. And then right here, we're at 24 and 3 eighths or so. So we know that we need to have four rises, which would be three steps, and the fourth rise would be the deck itself, because your first step is one step down. So four rises, three steps, my total run is gonna be 33 inches. So I pull back to here, where it says 33 inches. Colin's gonna hold my level right here at 33 inches. And then, at that point, I'm gonna measure to grade. I got 23 and 3 eighths right here. And then, I'm gonna come over and check it on this side. There, Colin. 33 inches, I pull my level over to that mark. Colin levels it while I measure down. I got 24 and 3 eighths. So, on the right side of your steps, my elevation is 23 and 3 eighths. On the left side, it's 24 and, well, I had 5 16 3 eighths, depending on, you know, where you're landing on the concrete. We're gonna go with this measurement because that's the highest point of the concrete. So we're at 23 and 3 eighths. We're gonna divide that by four, our total rise, divide that by four to give us an individual rise of five and 13 sixteenths. So we know that our rise for each step is five and 13 sixteenths, and we know that our run, two deck boards with the spaces in between happens to be 11 inches on this particular project with this particular decking. Now, when you build a deck, uh, you're gonna have to measure your deck boards and see what your run needs to be. So, looking at our carpenter square, our two foot square, you can see we have numbers going up this way in sixteenths. And then on this side of the square, we have numbers going up this way in, and it has it in sixteenths. So we are at five, and 13 sixteenths. Five and 13. Okay. And then on this side, we're at 11. And you line that point up so that when the back of your two by and the front of your two by line up like they would if you were sighting down a gun with that point, that's how you know you're at the right point. Once you get it on that point, you have these buttons here. If you wish, you could use those. It makes it a little bit easier, a little bit faster. And then, wherever you slide this now, those buttons, lock it in against that two by, and it creates your step. So we know that our step has an 11 inch run but on our very top step before you get to the deck even though the run is still 11 inches in order to get that i actually have to remove three and an eighth the reason why i have to remove three and an eighth is because our two by eight is actually um, one and nine sixteenths it's not really two inches it's about one and nine sixteenths and i've got one I've got one going on the front of here and one going on the back of here. So on the one going on the front and one going on the back, that's gonna eat up three and an eighth. So if I need to have an 11 inch run, I actually need to mark this at seven and seven eighths. So, we mark this. Let me come over.
And then, so this is one, two, three. First step, second step, third step, and then the deck is the fourth step. So we know on our bottom step, I have to take an inch off of the bottom. And that's because we have an inch of decking going on top. So if my step is five and 13 sixteenths and I put an inch of decking on top, now I'm at six and 13 sixteenths and the rest of my steps will only be at five and then it won't be to code because my bottom step will be an inch higher. So whatever the thickness of the tread, whatever that thickness is, you must remove that from the bottom, the very bottom of your stringer. So I'm gonna take one inch off, which represents the thickness of my tread. Now you can get rid of these buttons come over here and you line this square up with here so you're not at an angle so you're nice and square and then you make a line across the bottom then over here you line this up right at 5 and 13 sixteenths that's how you know you're perfect and then we come over to 7 and 7 eighths That's because I'm doing 11. I'm gonna have to measure it. So I measured over seven and seven eighths because once I add on the back, my two by and my one on the front, that'll bring me back out to my 11 inch run that I need. I line that square up perfectly. You don't want to have it at an angle because then these will not be 90 degree angles like they should be. So then I have one, two, three, and the deck is number four. And then you simply cut it out with your skill saw and you can finish the cuts with a jigsaw or a knife. Now there's a lot of debate as to whether or not you can make overcuts on these. So some carpenters believe you can only cut right to the corner and then you have to finish the cut with your jigsaw or your uh, knife. And then some carpenters believe that you can make an overcut through the cut to the point where it actually meets up on the back and then the cut just falls out on its own. Now I don't like to make a cut all the way through to the back I do make a slight overcut, maybe about a quarter inch or so, and I just feel like that helps you get a cleaner uh, straight edge in there to mark the other stringers. And then what I do is I use a knife and I cut back the rest of this corner out of there.